Conservative government pause this universal credit rollout. At the moment, it's understood that three, this one million people have been uh, transferred to this benefit and um, it must be paused and it has to be paused and we all have to support that you know it's not going to be a success story to transfer three million people onto this universal credit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I'd briefly like to support both uh, Councillor Morris uh, and uh, the movements of the motion in particular. I uh, congratulate Councillor Byrne on a very effective first speech on a, a motion which he clearly feels passionate uh, about. I've only got three things to say, uh, my Lord Mayor. Firstly, the principle of universal credit, I believe, is a direct one, trying to bring together a range of benefits into one simple system must be right. But that's as far as I can go in supporting it. The second reason, uh, uh, the second thing about it is that if you wanted to implement it effectively, it could have been done. But it hasn't been. The rollout has been an absolute disgrace. IT that didn't work, staff that weren't trained, a whole series of problems in the implementation phase. Uh, and the third thing I'd say is that I don't know whether that's an accident or whether it's deliberate. Because it's all taking place at the same time as nine billion pounds worth of cuts to benefits. So even if we weren't introducing universal credit, we'd probably be ending up with many of the same effects which uh, we've heard so eloquently spoken about frankly today by Mayor Anderson. Uh, so we have no hesitation in supporting this motion. A good scheme is not a bad scheme. A scheme to make things better has made things incalculably worse. And we join you in calling upon the government to stop this model, this mess, to try and sort it out, and then reinstate the one billion quid as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody the same in a way that they all need individual support. 